We are ready to present at this juncture the proposed budget for the uh, National Commission for Senior Citizens, which has uh, the amount of 193.343 million or an increase of 21.980 million. So uh, no amount has been proposed for the Senior Citizen Rights and Welfare Development Program. So uh, the Senate has recommended an additional amount of 40 million to fund the same. We are now ready to uh, answer the questions regarding the budget. Thank you. We are uh, opposed to uh, House Bill 9459 because uh, we want a universal social pension law instead of a mere amendment of this existing social pension law. Wala pong upgrading na nangyari, kaya may utang po kayo sa amin, so huwag po ninyo kaming bigyan ng isang libo. Ang kailangan po natin kung maari ay 1,500, although alam nating lahat na hindi ito sapat para sa pangangailangan ng mga senior citizens. So, uh, is our commission uh, complete, uh, Madam uh, Chairwoman? Yes, thank you very much. Finally, our commission is indeed complete. We have 100% attendance. We have Commissioner Ida Yap Patron. We have also Commissioner Gloria Humamil Mercado. We also have Chairperson Franklin Quijano once again. And we have Commissioner Edwin Galindo Espejo together with uh, uh, Commissioner Enriqueta Roncal Rodeles, Commissioner Ricardo Rainier Guevana Cruz III from the United States. And also we have cleared Commissioner Raymar Reyes Mansilungan, who originally was exposed to COVID but appears to be uh, uh, negative. Ngayon, maybe you can see, we, we can see that the the budget is an budget niya? Uh, the budget for the commission is 103 in the gap, 193 million in our Senate committee report, but originally, uh, originally 78 million in the net. Ganun po yan, di ba? So, That's correct. Akala natin tuloy na, you know, it's just a small agency, but this is a very important agency uh, because it is actually in a uh, transition stage. Uh, Ms. Madam Chairwoman, uh, am I correct in saying that? Yes, that's yes. correct. Um, it's going through a very difficult and troubled transition from the time it was signed into law on the 25th of July 2019. There have been fits and starts. Kulang-kulang yung mga commissioner na ina-appoint. Pagkatapos yung transfer ng plantilyo mula sa DepEd, eh, natatagalan. Pati na rin yung uh, iba, uh, DSWD, pati po yung uh, iba't ibang IRR na tatagalan. Kulang-kulang pa rin ang plantilya nila sa personal management at pati yung back, kaya hindi nagagastos yung pera. Tignan niyo yung gano'ng kahalaga po ito kasi sa, mga, sa, sa amendments from the House on the NEP, which is not reflected on the agency's budget, is a uh, five, 5 billion eh? 5 billion amendment from the house to the budget of the DSWD but this is the purpose upgrade upgrade senior citizens pension through and the new word eh? through the national commission of senior citizens so in fact, uh, that refers, the five billion, sir, refers to the social pension. This is the stipend being given out to our senior citizens. Ito po yung five billion. Uh, ngunit yung uh, mapupunta na additional sa National uh, Commission, eh, 25 million lamang. Kasi hindi pa nata-transfer yung buong halaga at yung uh, uh, empleyado ng DSWD na may hawak ng social pension.
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually pointing out the uh, importance of this agency or the potential energy uh, being stored in this agency because ngayon, 5 billion po yun uh, lodged with DSWD. Pero pag tignan niyo yung description ng item, it is for the social pension of senior citizens through the Senior Citizens Commission. So, there will come a time. Am I correct in, uh, in, in my understanding of the law and of the recently passed law? There will come a time that we are envisioning that the uh, social pension of senior citizens will be coursed through this commission and the uh, budget lodged as well in the budget of this commission. Yes, that is correct. Uh, Republic Act 11350, the National Commission of Senior Citizens Act, uh, states very clearly that it is the commission that will ensure the full implementation of laws, policies, and programs. Mm -hmm. So it's not merely a policy or planning agency, but also an implementing one. Okay, so we have made the determination in existing law. That's why I'm worried. So I'm worried that without even considering the uh, personalities involved muna, I'm worried that we are uh, forced to replicate structure or manpower of, this, of the DSWD. We have a, tapos ano mangyayari, it's very specialized. It is just uh, to distribute the social pension of senior citizens. Oh, yeah, number one yun. And then the, now, if we now consider now the people, because an organization is only as good as its people, this agency will be entrusted with, as we computed, may new law rin, increasing it, the denoble natin, ang computation natin, 50B. That's actually. correct. Oh. So, uh, yun po yun. I mean, that's, that's, that's my worry now, but that's... But that has been, uh, that is our interpretation of the uh, newly, recently enacted law. So, if my worry is sh uh, should be shared by a critical number of uh, legislators, maybe it's time to revisit that law. Uh, still keep the social pension, but it's the matter of, you know, who is to distribute the social pension so that it reaches the a senior citizen, do we really need to replicate the structure of the DSWD to do one specialized uh, uh, distribution of uh, uh, benefit, uh, Mr. President? Um, I suppose, uh, Minority Leader, that argument can be made because, after all, a much bigger program of the DSWD, for example, the four Ps, or let us say the Supplemental uh, or uh, Sustainable Livelihood, all of these programs and Kalahi Seeds, these are much bigger programs, but they don't have individual agencies implementing them, unlike uh, the senior citizen stipend. However, it should be noted that all the senators of the 17th Congress were co-authors yes. this past unanimous in 2019 but now that we are realizing the the, right. the impact so uh, what would be the cost impact of this uh, because I think if, uh, if we can ask the Commission uh, from in their understanding of the law let us assume assuming lang that there's they're now functioning no normally or properly uh, in accordance with law is it their expectation that they will have a DSWD-like structure press, be present in all uh, provinces, re regions, provinces, municipalities, so that the the social pension fund can really reach the uh, beneficiary. Well, just in terms of personnel, minority leader, it should be uh, noted that. Uh just recently, the Commission got the approval of DBM for 206 items, when in fact, what would have been transferred from DSWD was a mere 57 personnel. So right off the bat, you can see na lalaki ang overhead nito at uh, tulad nga ng uh, bawat ahensya, eh, may kailangan na kanyang personnel, kanyang logistics, kanyang opisina. Uh, this is Section 11 of the law uh, Your Honor has just referred to. That's uh, Republic Act 11-35-0. Yes. 
I will, transfer of the I will, function. Yes, let me read the section 11. Yes, please. Transfer of functions from the Department of Social Welfare and Development, DSWD, to the National Commission of Senior Citizens, NCSC. All functions, programs, projects, and activities which are being undertaken by the Department of Social Welfare and Development, DSWD, for the formulation, implementation, and coordination of social welfare and development, SWD, policies and programs for the poor, vulnerable, and disadvantaged senior citizens shall be transferred to the National Commission of Senior Citizens, the NCSE. So, if we are to interpret this law, uh, if we ask the interpretation of the leadership of the uh, Commission, what is their interpretation of this Section 11? Uh, does this uh, mean that the, the, the man, the agency, like the DSWD because uh, all functions, programs, and projects and activities undertaken by DSWD shall be transferred to them? Yes, uh, Minority Leader, their understanding is the entire gamut of uh, programs and projects referring to senior citizens will be transferred to the new commission. It will not be a duplication but rather a complete transfer of the registry of senior citizen associations senior social pensions centenarians act assistance to the aged supervision and management of the residential care facilities uh, the different havens in the different regions and so on that uh, lock stock and barrel ililipat po to sa bagong komisyon. So, ang pagkaintindi nila, hindi naman madodoble, kundi ililipat talaga. Uh, inclu including the actual ha handing of the cash. Kasi cash assistance po itong social pension, That's right? That's correct po. Uh, the, uh, the actual handing of the cash from government to the senior citizen beneficiary will, will be done by this WD or the NCSE. NCSE po. NCSE, kaya nga. So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, 200 people will, will, will distribute the cash to actual senior citizen beneficiaries from Apari to Holo? Right. That is the... That, di ba kung yun ang sinabi niyo pong... That's na, correct. Opo, opo. Yes, that is uh, the understanding that they will undertake the entire uh, distribution and implementation of this. Right now, it's DSWD. They have 55 contractual personnel in DSWD, but there are 800 contractuals being hired for the distribution of funds. Uh, with the approval of the DBM uh, of the Commission's 206 permanent employee mm. items, I assume those 206 will also be obliged to get contractuals right. to cover oh, the same areas. Okay, so my contract was to help the uh, the regular employees of the commission. Just as now the DSWD will retain the the contract was they're hiring to 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 distribute some programs less the senior citizen uh, social pension. The understanding is uh, both the uh, 55 DSWD personnel as well as the 800 contractuals will to some degree or another be absorbed by the commission they will not remain with the SWD any longer ah, because are these people uh, currently with the DSWD so specialized that they just distribute uh, senior citizen pension yes it's a large undertaking and uh, as a result um, these are the 57 personnel of DSWD and as I said earlier the 800 contractuals Kaya nga, ganyan, ganyan po pala, uh, 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 as I'm understanding the answer, ganyan pa lang approach ng DSWD, so specialized that they have uh, people in the regular plantilla and they hire uh, contractuals. In addition. One and only job. The, uh, the reality is there are uh, several elements to the effort. Firstly, uh, there's the database which has always been under contention because... Uh, there are 4 million beneficiaries when the estimate would be approximately 8% of the total population of 106. So, ibig sabihin, kulang na kulang itong beneficiaries na nakalistang 4 million and the effort is to expand that database. So, that's a year-long effort. And then, of course, the distribution is quite complex as well as in many cases, they have to be delivered house to house.